Hi, welcome back to Book From Tape. I'm Jordan Woods Robinson with Book From Tape, and we are empowering actors with the tools you need to book directly from tape. And one pitfall that I see many times is a, a lack of clarity of your surroundings in auditions. And it's something that I really just want to point out is crucial. This is our opportunity to paint a world. You know, the, the story that we're telling right now is completely in our minds, right? And the, the camera is gonna pick it up, but only as long as we are as specific as possible with telling that story. And so just showing up and talking to your reader and maintaining eye contact that with them the whole time and being engaged with them and all that, that's maybe half the battle. But when do, we, when do we just stare and talk to a person directly in any conversation without being aware of our surroundings? It happens very often. And sometimes there are some auditions where if you're maintaining tension, if, uh, if there's something different going on in the scene, if we have, you know, there, there are times where you want to just be locked in with this person and not even try to blink, you know, and, and just like, allow that that tension to boil and simmer underneath, you know? But I'd say the majority of auditions, you want to be in the world. You want to know what's going on. When I'm having a conversation with someone, I spend half of the time looking at them and I spend half the time staring down at the floor. I want to glance up at the clock. I want to I want to check my watch. I want to uh, I hear a sound out the window. I want to make sure that there's nothing going on out there, you know, that I need to be aware of. The more specific we can get with that in your scene, the better the story. The, the more truthful the story, the more alive your character is, the less you have to do, all right? So as you're going into this, it, it's different than just imagining yourself, right? It's different than just being like, okay, I'm in a school and the class has just started. You know, it's beyond that. It's, it's, having, it's putting yourself in that situation knowing that you're in the laboratory versus the library. Okay, so I'm sitting, I'm on, a, I'm on a tall stool. It's a metal stool. I'm sitting here. I've got my lab desk right in front of me. There's another stool here. There's another stool here. Um, there's two stools in front of me until the teacher's right up there with the, um, it's a dry erase board, right? There's a projector uh, right here. Um, there's rows of windows along here with metal blinds that uh, this one's half drawn. These are both drawn, but they're open. Uh, this, uh, the door is over in that corner. Knowing all of those specifics, knowing where the posters are, knowing where the other people are in the room that, that, you know, maybe you don't want them to hear your conversation. Knowing all of those things and putting yourself there. Not just going through and imagining it and saying, oh yeah, I'm in a, I'm in a lab. But actually being able to see it, being able to live within this space and to know that if a noise happens outside the window that it's right there and that you're on the second floor. And so then if there's something happened down on the ground, it's actually, there's a bit of a craning here in order to see down there, right? That's a totally different story than like hearing a noise and going like this. It's a totally different story, uh, knowing exactly where the teacher is and, and knowing that you wanna talk to her, or no, 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 that you wanna talk to this person here without your teacher knowing. You know, two different eye lines, things going on. So putting yourself in that situation and then you don't have to add anything to it. Then you're just there. Then you're just responding to your surroundings while you're trying to get through this, right? And one great tool, technique, trick in order to get into that is to put yourself in the scene. Imagine it. Watch yourself on TV. Watch it play out with the final edits, with the direction, with everything else. See what you're wearing. See what the other people are wearing. See how tall they are. See what their hair color is. See what mood they're in. See what their actions are as they're going through this scene. Allow yourself to watch it on TV. And that takes care of the wall color. That takes care of how many papers are on the desk and how many beakers are in the lab and where the gerbil is behind you with the little wheel. Like, you know where all that is. And now... You're just there. And like a, like a book or something, uh, when you show up on the day, when you actually show up to film it, the set's gonna be different than it was in your mind, but it just is different. It just changes like it does in a book. If you get new information, then your brain doesn't go, oh, I'm gonna think about how I'm gonna make this person different. You just go, oh, okay, it changed visually, done. That's it. And our imagination is that strong as long as we allow it to be incorporated into our process. 
Thank you so much. Uh, if you want more tips and tricks, uh, please subscribe to us uh, on our podcast, which is the easy way to take this with you on the road. And also, if you're looking for some more videos or anything else, you can find it right here. We've got lots of more uh, tutorials and things that you can check out, uh, and we're going to be posting these videos periodically. Thank you so much. I'll talk to you next time. This is Jordan with Book From Tape. Thank you.